Hey everyone, it's Zach. Due to some technical issues, we missed out on the first hour of competition, so we're only going to be able to get a few battles in, so we're just going to jump into it as quick as possible. I uh, made a little couple changes to the team, and I am going to run Talonflame, Porygon Z, Clefairy, Urshifu, I'm pretty sure that's the water one, uh, Primarina, and Ferrothorn. So one of the problems I think I had with the other one is that I would quickly re lead to the special attackers and snarl is such a big problem so it's like pretty easy to shut them down so I added some more variety and the Ferrothorn to switch into things that Primarina doesn't want to take because Primarina is not great on physical defense so having that Ferrothorn to switch in on attacks that Primarina might not want to take is really beneficial but anyways we're going to jump into it we're going to hope for the best Okay, and we have our first one. And, ooh, I went against this team on Showdown. So, this is a tricky one. Okay, so, <laughs> it is the water, Urshifu. Uh... PZ's not bad here. Urchifu and Ferrothorn. Uh, I gotta watch out for the Trick Room. My Talonflame has Taunt, so that could be an option. The only thing is, if you lead Clefable, uh, you're going to get the you're going to get the Follow Me. And it's going to taunt. And then you can lead Hatterini and get rid of the taunt with magic bounce. There there it is. Yeah. So they're going to get up Trick Room either way. So let's... I, I mean, Clefable's going to follow me. So what I want to do is I want to taunt the Clefable and then do a Max Darkness. And even though the Max Darkness is going to go into the Clefable, we are going to get those special defense drops. There's the follow me. So we go ahead and taunt the Clefable. And we see the Trick Room come out. So the Trevenant can be a really big issue. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Brave Bird onto the Cliff Able. Try to get some big damage and just max strike into the Hatterene. Steelix. Oh, okay. So we called that wrong. Okay, that's decent damage. So really what I want to do here is preserve the Talonflame. And I think Ferrothorn's decent here.
I want to go ahead and try to get rid of this Steelix. Clefable's coming back out. You're going to go ahead and Dynamax the Steelix here. And I want to say we probably see a Max Knuckle come out into the Porygon Z slot. Rockfall, actually. So you're setting the stand, which is fine because you're actually setting the stand for us as well with the Ferrothorn. And that does decent damage with the stand up. How many more turns of trick room is there? Two more turns of trick room. Let's Iron Defense. And Protect. Max Knuckle, did you go into Porygon? You went into the Ferrothorn, that's fine. This Clefable might have a fire attack. Life do. Okay, so you're actually going to heal up. So here you're t you're targeting the Ferrothorn. Let's just get another Iron Defense. And let's go ahead and Hyper Beam, because I feel like you're going to target down the Ferrothorn here. No, you actually went after PZ this time. Okay, good call. Hmm. Do I want to stack Talonflame here? I do. We go ahead and see the follow me come out. I want to say a rock slide. We'll just take out the talent flame here. We get the taunt off though. Is trick room over? Crap.
What do I want to lock into? I think Surging Strikes is honestly fine here. Vika Volt. Really? That's weakness policy. Ah! We do hang on here. And they're 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 starting to bring down the clock. Bring back in Clefable. Q charm, really? Okay, so Q Charm really isn't a factor. Because it only affects the infatuation with that Pokemon. We'll get a body press in and take out Steelix. And right now, my concern is the Hatterene. Because what does Vikavolt have against Ferrothorn? So let's go ahead and double into the Hatterene here. And you can't protect uh, with Urshifu. Hatterene's going to protect, but that's not going to matter because Urshifu breaks th through that. So here they kind of called like me going into the Vika Vault. And Thunderbolt will probably go into the Urshifu here. And now you don't have any answers to Ferrothorn. That was a strange one, uh, but I'm glad we could hold it down. That was a really good match from Papa Bear. Good game. I, I really like the team. The team's really interesting. Okay, and we're going to just jump right into the next one. We have Watson. The only thing we'd have to watch out for is really like a got to tell like Gastron lead.
but I think you probably go Gothitelle. You either go Gothitelle, Charizard, or Klefki, Charizard. And it's probably Shadow Attack. Let's double check. Yeah, I think so. We just have to go for the Tailwind here. And let's smack Strike. Because I, I could see a Max Airstream come out. Here comes the Charizard. I'd have to say their best bet is to like uh, to double into the Talonflame. There's the fake out. Max Airstream. Yeah, the double into Talon Flame was. So we're down one. We didn't get Tailwind up. Charizard's Life Orb. We do blow back the Gothitelle, but Charizard still outspeeds us. I think here we have to bring in the Primarina. We have to get rid of the Charizard before we even try to bring in Ferrothorn. I want to max guard here, but I don't at the same time. Ooh, you you try to bait. Max Quake. Primarina takes that though. And we just missed the Charizard. Let's max strike the Rotomo. Because Charizard goes down to another life life orb tick.
Okay. So it's down to just Urshifu. So what's more important here? I think I want to get a leech seed off. And you might just detect. You could just detect to let the, if you're sashed. And then Porygon goes down here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get some chip. And between leftovers and leech seed, that should be enough to, if it's sash, we, we just broke the sash there. Here's the thing, should we body press or should we iron defense? I think we just have to seize the opportunity and body press here. Because uh, I feel like you target the Ferrothorn. Yeah. And Ferrothorn actually hangs on there. So we're definitely going to get this. Because you get a, a defense and a special defense drop. So like Moonblast is just going to do you in. We switched the Ferrothorn in on our Charizard. And it worked out. So that was pretty cool. Hey guys, it's Zach. So, we did okay. Uh, we played eight battles. We went five and three. So, we won the same amount as the second uh, VGC Life Circuit. And we played a lot less matches. So, I'm actually, my rating system's in the positive, And there is actually no more time left. It should, if I back out of this, it should close out. But this is going to be my outro. We are in 70th place right now. So if someone above us loses, uh, we might get a little higher. But we are in the top 100. I didn't get to check to how many people entered. But, I mean, we went 5-3. and three, So that was a lot more of an improvement. My last two matches, we were in like 35th, 34th. My last two matches was the same team. Uh, two times uh, with different players and they were both highly rated and they just outplayed us. Uh, they did really well. So I'm going to leave it here. Let me know how you think I did in the comments down below. I'm going to have these battles were separated into four different episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below how you felt about the team. How did I do? Uh, I'd love to have these conversations and we're almost up to 200 subscribers. So you've, if you made it this far in the video and you would like to see more from me, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. But anyways, I'm Zach and I'll see you guys in the next one.